welcome to savvy it solutions in the last two videos we are discussing about operators in java now we need to learn the operators in practically okay initially we are categorized into four videos the first video uh, gives arithmetic relational and logical operator the second video consists of assignment and increment by decrement operators the third video consists of conditional operator we will discuss five program five to six programs here and finally we will discuss about bitwise operators in fourth video so now this is the first video we need to do in this so class we need to specify the name arop arithmetic operator and we need to write public static void main string arts this is the common phenomena while we need to read the input we need to import java dot utility dot star okay so so here first we are creating object for scanner next we define two variable uh, three variables they are a comma b comma c okay now we need to read the values so enter value a value of a a is equal to sc dot next int similarly second element value also we need to read enter value of b b is equal to ac dot next int so after reading it we need to perform all arithmetic operations the first one is addition c is equal to a plus b okay so here we need to print the addition result addition of a and b is what we need to write c so the next line is c is equal to a minus b system dot out dot print ln subtract a from b plus c so same way we are writing all the operators okay so that is very easy to do okay multiply a with b c is equal to a by b system dot out dot print ln a divides b c and the last one is a module b
reminder when a divides b so this is the way we need to write the program we need to save as arop at d java prog we need to save as arop dot java and all files so after that we move to the drive d and java prog here java c arop dot java so after compiling this program waiting for the result yeah no errors so now we are uh, enter the value of a 10 enter the value of b 15 so that addition of a and b subtraction from a a from b like this the results will come so this is the way we are running the program okay the way we are writing and the way we are executing is in a systematic way so the second one is relational operators again i will take new notepad and so class relational relop okay so public static wide main string args so initially we need to use a scanner class for importing so we need to import utilities class so we are creating object for scanner class okay in the scanner class um, previously how we are depending we are also depending two variables we need to check the conditions for that and we are also reading two values for a and b so system dot output dot println enter value of a a is equal to ac dot next int similarly enter value of value of b b is b is equal to ac dot next int okay after reading this we need to check a greater than b so if this is true we need to print a is greater than b so that is a simple statement we are making if a greater than equal to b so what we need to print system dot how dot print ln okay is greater than equal to b again if a less than b is less than b similarly if a less than equal to b is 
is is that equal to similarly if a equal to b and the last condition is if a not equal to b system dot out dot is not equal to b so i will save as rel op dot java okay so now java c rel op dot java so scanner small i am using so i will rectify so no errors so now we are running already i mentioned that when in the previous uh, previous video that if you give two values of a and b will satisfy minimum of three conditions so here i am giving 10 and 20 so 10 is less than 20 10 is less than equal to 20 10 is not equal to 20 this is the first phenomena similarly now 10 and 8 so here also three conditions are satisfied 10 is greater than 8 10 is greater than equal to 8 10 is not equal to 8 so, so now we are giving equal values it also 8 is greater than or equal to 8 8 is less than or equal to 8 and 8 is equal to 8 so this is the way the output is coming right so the last one is logical operators so class logical op so before we go we need to import java dot utility dot start public static while main string args so here initially we create object for scanner after that we need to define three variables int a comma b comma c and we need to read three values Enter the value of a. So a is equal to a c dot next int. So similarly, second value we need to read. Enter the value of b. b is equal to sc dot next int and system dot out dot print ln enter the value of c so c is equal to sc dot next int so till we are reading the values so now we are checking the condition a greater than b and a greater than c 
so if this is true we need to print system dot out dot println both the relations are true so the second part is no else part here we are discussing only greater than relation okay a greater than b and a greater than c so here what it prints both the relations are any one of the relations are true both the relations are any one of the relation true okay so finally what one more is that logical r not a greater than b so what here prints if the relation is true false will be considered okay so this is what exactly we are saving as logical op dot java now we are compiling it java c logical op dot java so syntax syntax error not an issue oh my god so many errors next int i think it will be reduced almost all print ln where exactly scanner new okay system dot in so how many errors are coming that much of uh, quality we will generate okay so the line is 18 parental 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 yeah here so while running it and the value of a 10 value of b 15 value of c 20 so if the relation is true false will be considered so that will taken so now in the next trip what i am doing is i will give one condition true okay so a greater than b so a value 10 b value 8 and c value 15 so both the relations are any one of the relation is true now i am giving uh, 10 8 and 5 so both the relations are true both the relations are any one of the relation is true thank you